Bruce Wayne meets Clark Kent. Ah, I love it. I love bringing people together. How are we? Oh, it wasn't long ago that big budget blockbusters like Batman vs. Superman were filmed right here in Michigan. In 2008, Michigan rolled out the country's most lucrative tax incentives for filmmakers. But less than seven years later, with a new governor in place, the program was dismantled. Many industry workers left Michigan, but a few stayed behind, hoping the tax incentives would return. And now the Hollywood productions could be coming back to Michigan if a new set of bills gets passed. And if that happens, Michigan could once again become the Hollywood of the Midwest. I'm owner of Mad Props. I built props here. These are from a project four or five years ago. Erica Panero knows a thing or two about productions. I design anything that's in front of the camera. Um, so most of my work is commercial work, but some of it's narrative, feature, music videos. Maybe you're foreshadowing, or maybe you're just telling about their past. Um, stuff like that, so it's like I'm still storytelling, but just visually. Her first feature film was in 2010, at a time when Michigan's tax incentives were so good, multi-million dollar productions like these were being filmed here on a regular basis. I saw so much potential in that. But everything quickly changed. I heard the ads on TV, like the governor was campaigning on the platform to get rid of the, the evil Hollywood film incentives, and that was just devastating. We all just kind of felt helpless. It was very disappointing. The tax incentives essentially dried up overnight, she stayed local, working on smaller productions to make ends meet, and was able to weather the storm. But not everyone was so lucky. I think like half the people I knew in the industry eventually left. Yeah, a lot of people went to Atlanta, a lot of people went to LA. And some went to Nevada. Grand Rapids native Jen Horling landed in Las Vegas after Michigan Governor Rick Snyder pulled the plug on tax incentives for filmmakers. It was actually shortly after they left. So I was frustrated because, you know, they had vanished. And, you know, all this opportunity had been buzzing and then and it's gone. You know, I'm just starting starting and getting going and getting these awesome opportunities. And well, wait a minute, they're you know, they're gone. And I just knew I wasn't going to keep waiting for months on end for an, the next great opportunity that, you know, might come with no incentives being there. While I'm watching all these other states explode with opportunity, you know, I, I wanted to go where that was. And that's when I moved, moved to Vegas. I had never been there. But in just four years, I was shocked. My experience did exactly what I always hoped it would. It skyrocketed. There was tons of opportunity. Horling says staying in Michigan was never an option. But for others, like David Lowing, staying local was the only option. I decided to stay throughout it all because, again, my point is to expand West Michigan and Michigan. He owns Lowing Light and Grip, an equipment rental company he started in 1985. We do lighting, grip, which holds up the lights. We do a little bit of special effects. Like so many others, Lowing and his team reaped the benefits of those tax incentives up until they were drastically scaled back and eventually disappeared. The training was amazing that we got from outside productions coming in because they bring leads in from from outside. I personally got a lot of experience on feature film production that works over to everything else that I do. When they went away, we lost a lot of people who had that training and went to big other markets where they could make a living yet. And they've continued on there and they would, many of them would love to come back here if, if the work were here. He says the original tax incentives were problematic because of how they were designed, but he's hopeful this new batch of incentives will benefit everyone in Michigan. That new batch of incentives uses transferable tax credits rather than rebates, but the proposal is still being drafted. Join us again tomorrow morning as we hear from State Senator Adam Ollier on his efforts to bring the incentives back to Michigan. That's tomorrow morning right here on 13 on your side.